Hello everyone, glad to see you again. Today we're going to draw a vector image using the symmetry, step by step. It will involve a few more steps than other programs. First, find the sketch you want to draw in Pixel Persona. Go to the brush tool, in the top bar, select symmetry, then mirror, and lock. Before we start drawing, let's go over some basics of the pen tool. The pen tool lets you draw by simply clicking to create straight lines, or clicking and dragging to create curves. Double click on the last point to stop drawing. Select the last point to continue drawing. You can also use the node tool to adjust the lines. Clicking on the last point again changes the mode to smart drawing. Hold the control key while using the pen tool to select curves or node points. For more details, check out the pen tool video on my channel. Now, let's start drawing vectors. First, we'll create a symbol by drawing a rectangle that covers half of the tiger's face. This rectangle may or may not have a stroke, as we'll end up deleting it later. Go to the Symbols panel, if you can't find it, go to the Window menu at the top and select Symbols. Click Create New Symbol, then drag the symbol to snap with the first rectangle. Select any symbol, click the Insert inside the Selection button at the top, and start drawing inside that symbol. Don't forget to click Flip horizontally on one of the symbols. For the pen tool, I set the miter to around 4 to 6 and click scale with object in the stroke panel. Remember to draw only within the symbol. If you accidentally draw outside, you can drag it back into the symbol. Use the Width tool to adjust the width of each stroke as you like.
Use the pen tool or pencil tool to color. You'll notice that the color overlaps on the other side of the tiger's face. If you draw beyond the dividing line, don't worry, it's due to layer ordering. Try to color one side completely before moving to the other side. This way, we separate each color into layers. After finishing the outlines and coloring, go to the Symbols panel and click Detach. You'll have two groups of the tiger's face. Create a new layer and move these two groups into that layer. Ungroup both of these groups. Select one of the stroke line go to the Select menu at the top, and choose Select Same, then Stroke Color. Group them and move this group to the top of the layers panel. If you need to send the work to someone else, make sure to expand the strokes first for easy importing into other vector programs. For each color shape, select same color and add them together. And that's it. Now you can change both the stroke colors and shape colors. Once you're familiar with this method, you'll be able to do it faster next time. I hope you got some ideas from this. But if you have any questions or suggestions, please comment below the video. Thank you for watching.